Hey guys, Operator K here. I know it's been a little while. Um, I'm just going to make a quick little video today. I uh, joined here with my uh, Green Tree Conyer once again, Duncan. Hey buddy. So I'm just going to do a quick little video today. I'm going to do some reviews for uh, Skull Splitter Dice. I bought a blind uh, mystery bag. Um, pretty impressed with what I got. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I have. Okay, so I just want to start off by saying that this isn't a paid promotion or sponsorship or anything. I was just... Uh, Bought a pack of these, or a set of this dice for myself, and I was just really impressed with what I got. So, um, yeah, I haven't had too much of a chance to play. I actually um, haven't had a game group in quite a few years, probably going on about 10. Uh, my past gaming experience is uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I've started off with 2.0 or, yeah, second edition, um, playing in probably grade 7 with my, my friends. Um, Run the time uh, 3.0, um, which is the handbook I have. Played 3.0, 3.5 for probably about 10 years, from about 11, 12 up to early 20s. Um, after university and everything, it was a little difficult finding groups, finding people at the same schedule. But uh, so I haven't played too much in the last little bit. Also played um, a little bit of Star Wars Saga Edition, um, Vampires the Masquerade, D20 Modern. Um, so yeah, I uh, bought the uh, the blind uh, premium blind mystery bag from Skull Flutter Dice. Kind of looking at it for a little while, but uh, I'll just show you what I got here. So first off, you get the uh, uh, velvet pouch, uh, which is beautiful. Um, it's actually a little filthy. Um, totally my fault. I had it with me when I went to work. I got it. Kind of just as I was on my way out the door. So uh, the set I got uh, in every one of their blind mystery bags is uh, you get a full set plus some random uh, assortment of dice and uh, a premium metal dice. So uh, the set I got there is the uh, blue acrylic transparent. Nice set, um, you know, more or less standard size. Uh, an assortment of other dice. So. Got a D20, D8, D10, D4. The one I'm really excited about is uh, the, uh, I believe they have it listed as uh, Antique Brass. It's a metal D20. It's beautiful. has a nice weight. Rolls really nice. So uh, I haven't got too much of a chance to play with these. As I said, I haven't been playing for the last little bit. Um, but I have been working on trying to get a gaming group together. Um, so I kind of, kind of took the effort and uh, went out and bought, um, bought a, a new set of dice. I have, uh, I have about two somewhere. I used to have a lot more dice and manuals and everything, and they kind of went missing around. Uh, but when I took a break in the middle of my ten years of playing or so, um, I had some friends uh, quote borrow my monster manual and Dungeon Master's Guide. Some of my dice, um, my 3.5 manual, and uh, never did see it again. Never did bother try to track it down. I doubt they would have it, anyways. But um, yeah, no, I'm really impressed with uh, Skull Splitter dice. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting more in the future. Um, I'm hoping this would kind of be a push to get me back into playing. Uh, I have, do have a few friends that do play, but uh, our schedules never seem to mesh. Um, but I mean, like, it's easy to say, like, dice are just dice. And for the most part, as long as you have a well-crafted dice, it doesn't really matter what the, the dice looks like. As long as they roll well, they have a nice balance, um, you know, good craftsmanship. And, uh, you know, I find with, with the Skull Splitter, just the little bit I have, and like I said, I haven't had too much of a chance to play with them, but um, I have a substantial experience with, with playing games, and I have used various dice in the past various brands that, uh, you know, I, I'm very impressed with these, and a lot of times we, we spend so much time fixating on, um, you know, whether or not the dice will match our character or an aesthetic or something we like. We spend so much time focusing on uh, form over function. Um, but, I mean, with Skull Splitter dice, these are such a nice quality of dice. Like, you can see that the workmanship on that metal D20, the engraving, the, the metal brushing, has actual weight in your hand. Even some of the other ones, like I find the uh, the edges are nice and crisp. Which, when you get a lot of these dice, not to say that you know a lot of dice are 
not cheap, but sometimes you get little, uh, the corners don't have nice crisp lines, uh, they're a little worn when they're basically out of the packet. But yeah, with, uh, with quality dice, I mean, you, you can fixate on your, your color and everything and, uh, you know, choose your aesthetic. I think companies like Skull Splitter really do, um, cater to the gaming industry to, you know, they are gamers themselves. I did a little bit of reading into the, the backstory and that. And they really do seem like they understand gamers, what they want, what they need. And, uh, I mean, the, the price isn't, uh, isn't ridiculous. What I paid for a uh, mystery set, uh, the bag, the, the blue set, my metal D20, and the, the other ones, I paid $9.99 US plus uh, around $12.14 for shipping to Canada. Um, the, the D20 alone on their site, I think, is marked as $11.99, so it was well worth the, uh, well worth the money. I'm very impressed with what I got. Um, I'm looking forward to using them the, the next chance I get. But yeah, um, you know, I would definitely recommend them for anybody interested in, um, you know, getting a, a good quality set. Sorry, I'm just I'm still blown away by this. Like, I've been looking at metal dice for, for a couple years, and, um, just the, the price on, I think most of their sets start around $26, $27, um, for a set of metal, or seven metal dice in, uh, the velvet bag. Um, I think they go up a little bit more, and you can get them with the dice tin. I've, uh, I don't know about so much recently, I haven't been looking too much into it, but when I first started seeing metal dice a few years ago, um, when I was still playing, I can remember them being around sixty and seventy dollars for a set. And I have seen some some sets, um, you know, seven piece set or whatever, uh, or around that price range. And um, two, with me being Canadian, everything's usually in U.S. prices. So after I pay a little more for shipping plus the conversion rate and everything, I think I paid around twenty five, twenty seven to get this shipped up to Canada. Um, took me about a little over a week. I ordered on a Friday, um, and so there's about six business days. Shipped out that Friday, and I got it the yeah I got it today, which is Monday. So uh, about seven business days. So yeah, no. Um, the other thing too is uh, I noticed they have um, a loyalty um, program or a rewards program. Um, and it's like um, when you sign up, you get um, you get some points, um, liking their Facebook and uh, their Instagram and a few other just simple actions. Um, pretty much gets you about five dollars off, which actually I realized after I paid for everything, I did forget to uh, to cash in my five dollar off uh, coupon. But um, definitely looking forward to getting some more, so I'll be using that up pretty soon. Well, guys, thanks for your time. Um, kind of wish I had more. But uh, yeah, no, I would definitely recommend these dice easily, a 5 out of 5. Thanks. You don't like them? What do you think, Duncan? No? No? I know you don't like blue, so it's probably not the best color. Oh, you're a jerk. It's gonna make me look bad. Well, what about this one? What do you think of that? Huh? Huh? What do you think of that, buddy? What do you think? Is that pretty? Is that pretty? Huh? No? Look at that. No? Look at that. No, what about that one? No? No? Okay, fine. I'll do this without you.